Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Tester F Unlimited 2 mod review video. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Star GT's Mercedes AMG GTR, which will be replacing Stewart's car in a future auto pack. As far as the license plate says, it's 1.9, but maybe he'll change that a little bit later. But let's take a look at this really, really cool mod. So as you can see, the headlights look absolutely amazing. They have little DRLs on them, which look actually pretty nice what they are we have very nice looking grill and everything as far as i've seen mini me was actually complaining about the fact that the shaders are kind of a little weird with this car that uh the rendering is a little weird with this car but i don't, I don't mind that personally the logo does look a little weird in, in certain lighting conditions but i guess that's fine for now looks pretty good very very nice side vent with uh the by turbo v8 logo interior is very nicely detailed as you see we'll look a, li a little bit later at that a little bit later. Tail lights look absolutely amazing. The rear carbon fiber wing also looks amazing. Also, it has its own rims. There's the plate right there, a custom plate. It has a different plate from uh, on the medium quality model. It's a steward on the plate. I'll show you that a little bit later. Let's get into the car and I'll show you that. Got to show that the doors open up and the windows roll up and down. Since the, the AMG GTR is replacing the SL, uh, SLR, the windows will stay down, which that's a little weird, but. I don't know if there's a way of fixing that. This thing has the SLR sounds on it as well. And for this camera view, this is the SLS's camera. Camera number 401. This is the best camera view out of everything. So, yeah. Looks pretty nice in the interior as well. Very nicely rendered and everything. I'll show you from the exterior. The door doors open as well. Looks very nice. I'll show you all the dealership options as well. As you can see, only one room option. All the colors work perfectly fine. RGT actually had a problem with the black color as far as I remember. That's why he released the model a few days late. And of course, he was also polishing up some issues that I found one, one I've, that I found during testing. The interior colors do not work, but that's probably supposed to be like that because frankly, this thing, uh, the interior color would be weird having all these other colors on it as well. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only option he had. So let me take it for a test drive and I'll show you all of its awesome features. As you can see, we have the brake lights here, tail lights, turn to gear lamps, the reverse lights there. I forgot to start up the engine. Front turn to gear lamps, headlights. Also, this thing has working gauges, and I'll show you a little bit later the the other gauges as well. Interior looks pretty nice. Working turn to gear lamps in the interior, working l light indicators. High beam light is actually located there approximately. It's as close as you could get it. Working GPS in the interior as well. And if we go into Bonnet view, as you can see, the gauges are extremely realistic. The black numbers on uh, this view is annoying, but there's nothing you can do about that. And the, ga the gauges in bumper view will also change between miles per hour and kilometers per hour, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can see all the exhausts and everything working. There is no roof option on this car. As you can see, there's a window option and so forth. Overall, this car is really, really nice. Great job, Star GT. And thanks to Micro Machine for donating to make this mod. There'll be another mod from me coming very soon. After Auto Pack 1.8 comes out, Star GT is already working on Auto Pack 1.8. He told me that he'd be working on it after he finishes this mod. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention it has license plate lights as well, but I think you guys saw that a little bit later. So uh, let me. I'll tune you guys back in a bit and I'll show you the. Uh, other feature of this car on the AI side. So be here. We meet again live at Solar Crown with all your favorite Shut up drivers. So here we Miami, are. I'm using my brothers, personal mod all here, right here. And we're As you can see, Stewart's livery is actually messed up, but I think that'll be fixed later. Maybe we'll actually do a little bit of a contest to donate to make uh, new liveries for the bosses. So as you can see. On the AI side, there's a license plate that says Stewart, and that's because the the AMG GTR is going to be replacing Stewart's car in the future, since Stewart's car is pretty useless. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll let it off here, and I think you guys get the point. So you can download the mod description and so forth. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.